What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here in this video we'll be looking at some gameplay of that really special exotic that we've been seeing since Rise of Iron trailers which is called the Outbreak Prime. So I'm going to be going over its perks, a load of gameplay of an action and also my thoughts of the weapon and how it performs. So let's take a look at its perks first off. When you complete the quest you're going to be given it a light level 390 which is pretty impressive and it's the Hawksaw archetype so it's going to work very well in Crucible and PvE of course. So we've got Smooth Ballistics, Acryze Ballistics and also Smart Drift Control which are very nice options right there in the barrels. We've got Outlaw for the super fast reloads on headshots. In the middle we've got Lightweight for extra mobility, Hand Loaded for extra range and also Fitted Stock for extra stability. Now the first exotic perk which is intrinsic is called the Corruption Spreads. Enemies that take repeated hits from this weapon cause Siva nanites that attack other enemies fall and take extra damage. The second exotic perk which is on the end is called Virulence and this means precision kills are going to release a nanite swarm that attacks other enemies. So let's take a look at some gameplay of the weapon in action so we can see what's going on with these perks that sound pretty similar. So the first perk, the Corruption Spreads, this means that enemies that take damage will cause a Nanite Swarm. This is slightly hard to recognize, but it's a red mist that surrounds the enemy and does lots of area of effect damage. So it doesn't require kills, simply just hits on an enemy, so it obviously works best on mages or bullet sponges, and it's going to do extra area of effect damage to them with the actual burst that comes out. Now that second perk called Virulence, this is what causes that Siva wolf pack round that go and seeks enemies. But of course you do need to get headshots to actually cause this, so this can be best on low tier enemies like Thralls and Dregs. So in terms of its effectiveness, it's definitely okay. It's a cool weapon that performs well. It's definitely not an incredible weapon, and it's not what a lot of us have wished it would have been either. But it does bonus fallen damage on a primary, which is always helpful, and the bonus damage from the swarms is nice as well. The main weak side of this weapon is how little the actual perk procs, which appears to be every 10 or 15 seconds, which seems really low. The fact that they don't swarm very often, and when they do, they're pretty weak, makes it not that noticeable. And like I said, it's a nice weapon to have. The Hawksaw archetype is amazing in PvE, one of the best archetypes you can get for pulse rifles. So having one with good stability, super fast reload, extra fallen damage, and the occasional swarm that seeks enemies as well, it's got some really nice bonuses. Nothing crazy, and it's not a must-have PvE beast. As I said in every video looking at it, it was bound to have some kind of downsides. I was waiting to see what it was. There was no way the swarm would proc on every kill. It would be broken, but it's interesting to see how they balanced it. It needs to take PvP into account as well. If it proc'd on every kill, it would be ridiculous. Now I need to give a massive shout out to my good friend, another Destiny YouTuber called Little Big Oki. He managed to get this weapon really quickly and sent me this footage to upload for you guys. So go check out his channel in the description. He makes really, really high quality Destiny videos, so definitely worth checking out. And his channel will be in the description if you want to go show him some love. Now if you're wondering how to obtain this weapon, I'll be honest, it's a very, very long and complicated quest. I'll leave a link in the description to a step-by-step -step guide tutorial by Datto, who's another Destiny YouTuber, and he's probably got the best guide you will see on YouTube. He knows exactly what he's talking about, and he's one of the first people to crack the codes and actually do the quest for this weapon. But there you go, I'm going to let you guys watch a few more minutes of pure gameplay, you can hear how it sounds as well. As always, a like rating on the video would be much appreciated, and enjoy the gameplay. of an enemy commander rallying the troops in the vicinity. Hit the target, take it out.
Shivers. 